Hey everybody, it's Roberto, and so I'm geeking out right now at Adobe Max, the like greatest creative conference in the world, and there's a lot of cool things here, including the Microsoft Surface Studio. This thing is amazing, this thing is baller, it's probably the greatest piece of creative tech that I've seen thus far, and so I want to share with you guys uh, my first-hand experience with the uh, Microsoft Surface Studio. And it really is an all-in-one studio, guys. You gotta check this out. So, let's go ahead and hop into it. Hey everybody, it's Roberto. So I've got the Microsoft Surface here. I'm gonna get hands on, I'm gonna get to play with this. Uh, Steve showed me how it works. I'm gonna geek out with you guys over this and I'm just gonna play around. It's like, I don't even really 110% know uh, where I want to start, but this is just so cool to be using this. But I think I'll start simply with like the fact that it can uh, tilt up like this. We got the palm rejection features. We got That's everything. Uh, but let's go ahead and like try to actually do something interesting here. So I'm gonna find myself a pencil, uh, and I'm just gonna try to uh, mess around with this a little bit, you guys, and just see um, what someone like me might do with this. Uh, it's not my traditional mode. Uh, I'm not um, a digital illustrator by trade, but I'm just gonna play around and like we'll see what happens. So um, let's go ahead and put this face down and I'll work on this kind of like how I would if I were um, sketching something at home. I'm going to do something I haven't done in the longest time. I'm going to actually sketch um, an original character of mine. Uh, we're zoomed in a lot here. We're zoomed to 1800%. So let's go ahead and put the Microsoft Surface dial on here. Let's push in and uh, let's go to the zoom. Um, so we got the zoom selected. So I'll use this to actually zoom out. Alright, so I've got more of the canvas here. Zoom out some more. So guys, I don't know if you can uh, see this, what's going on here, but I'm going to show you guys with the uh, zoom feature. Um, I know so you guys zoom in a little bit, and so you can see what we've got going on. Uh, this is amazing, um, so and the surface big. dial actually works uh, even off screen. We can zoom in here. Now, again, this is like super, super rough sketching um, on my part, and uh, the pressure sensitivity for the pen is in place. I do like that the surface pen, in my mind, is actually easier to control than the Apple Pencil. So I, I'm really digging that. Um, so long press here, you actually see a little bit more stuff. Yeah, let's let's see if I can get one of these guys. Uh, Microsoft's willing to give me one of these, uh, even if it's a loan, that'd be amazing. But in the meantime, I'm getting hands on with it. And I gotta say that I really dig what it is. Um, this could get me into doing like sketchbook stuff in Photoshop, even beyond what a tablet at home gets me lets me do, because it's just so convenient to just have it just like this and to just be able to work. Um, and to work on it just like it's an easel or just like it's a real, um, you know, like it's a real sketchbook. And that's what it feels like to me. It just feels like I'm working in my art pad. It feels like I'm working on an easel. Um, and that's just incredible. So he'll be on a little bit. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think if you're a traditional artist, I think if you're a comic book person, that this is game changing for you. Um, I can see myself using it in that capacity. You can also see from a design standpoint, using this a lot for digital painting, for uh, doing a lot of photo retouching, photorealistic stuff. Um, yeah, I think that would be fantastic. But using it uh, completely from a drawing perspective has just been a lot of fun. It's a little bit dirty right now. Um, I'm really enjoying it. They might need to kind of clean it up, but it's been a slide. 
But, um, and again, just messing with this, like, it made me, like, you know, revisit something I haven't in a while. I mean, I grew up uh, doing, like, illustration and just messing around and doing it myself for fun. And this is something that could actually make me do that. Would I want to pay four or five grand just uh, for a, a nice uh, digital sketchbook? No. But I think in general that this proves kind of the point of the Microsoft Surface line in general in terms of the Surface Studio, the uh, Surface Pro, and uh, the Surface Book. I think that it kind of just proves that if you can have a digital art studio with you at all times, how valuable that can be. From a design standpoint, this is amazing. Microsoft hit out of the park. Uh, everything as far as the guts of your machine is right down here. It's a fantastically intuitive device. I love using the Microsoft Pen. It's intuitive. I love that it erases. Uh, unlike the Apple Pencil, this actually functions like a pencil, so you can use it in that capacity. So I really did that. Uh, the pressure sensitivity works fantastic. If I do this harder, I get a darker line thinner, I get a lighter line, uh, it does everything that you would imagine. It functions really intuitively and that's why I'm able to feel very comfortable sketching with it here, uh, much the same way that I would on pencil and paper, so I'm really digging that. So guys, uh, getting hands on with the Microsoft uh, Surface Studio is fantastic. And I really dig uh, what's going on with it. I love the job that Microsoft did both from a design and functionality standpoint. I think that that's incredible. Um, just being able to get back into the idea of just doing, um, you know, art right here um, digitally, much in the same way that I would with, um, you know, a traditional pen and paper deal. And uh, being able to know that I can erase, I can do everything intuitively the way that God intended. So, um, that's just amazing. And again, I don't sketch in Photoshop at all because I haven't had a tool like this. I haven't done digital illustration in Photoshop in the longest time, specifically because I didn't have a tool like this. So, is it worth it? Absolutely, in my opinion, if you're a traditional illustrator, if you're um, someone who does photo manipulation on an advanced level, if you're a studio or an agency. I think this is a go-to tool. I think this is an ultimate solution and I definitely recommend picking one up. I know they won't be out until 2017, uh, but it's worth the wait. The best things are. So um, that's my hands-on first impressions of the Microsoft Surface Studio. Um, I love geeking out over it. I think it's incredible. I love the Surface style and the pen is intuitive. It's fantastic. So uh, this has been and a lot of fun. A... So there you have it. My own uh, first-hand experience with the Microsoft Surface Pro Studio. I mean, the Surface Studio is amazing. It's an amazing piece of tech. It is an engineering marvel. It's designed beautifully. Uh, Apple, you've lost, my friends. Uh, as far as cool stuff for creatives, Microsoft's crushing it right now. I don't know what Apple is doing as far as the hardware. I guess they're all in on the mobile devices. I still love my Apple mobile devices. You guys know I just got the uh, new Apple Watch, so it's not like I'm an Apple hater. I just am a big fan of what Microsoft's doing with innovation because that's what creatives care about. We care about innovation, we care about great aesthetic and design, and we care about things that let us do our work easier. So I think this is great. I think that if you're someone who wants something less cumbersome than having your desktop and a Wacom Cintiq, that this is ideal, and I loved it. So uh, I definitely encourage you guys to check this out. If it's in your budget, which it may not be, uh, you should definitely get one. I'm going to uh, find a few high-priced clients, charge them as much as possible, and I'm going to get one of these in the new year. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway, thanks you guys so much. Leave me your questions about the Surface Studio or any other of the Microsoft Surface products in the comment section. Uh, I definitely encourage you to check out the links in the description. Guys, this is just amazing. And I love it. I'm in love with it. I want to get one. All right. So anyway. Remember, go out there and create something awesome today. I'm gonna just keep geeking out over this awesome gear. Take care, you guys.